my name's John Graham. I, uh, I didn't really get into golf until after college. I was a, a bowler as a kid. And um, you know, I started in the PGA program right away, but didn't actually play competitive golf until I turned pro. Uh, played you know, a couple mini tours for a little while, a very short period of time. Because I had started late, I started to have a family, had some kids, and then got into the kind of the club side of, of golf. Uh, worked as an assistant at some clubs for a while, got into teaching, and then started working uh, with tour players about seven, eight years ago. And uh, now it's full time what I do is teach putting on the PGA Tour and the LPGA. I got involved with the golf science part of things with Eric and Paul. We talked at some forums and some conferences and things, and I'm definitely on the math and science side of coaching, at least in terms of my information and my education. Um, so we had been, we've known each other for years, going back and forth trying to figure out different things. So for me, it's like an opportunity to possibly learn more about the science and the forces and torques that go into the application of making a stroke. My goal is to provide the anecdotal on-course experience of, okay, well here's what's really happening in the real world versus what we think should be happening in theory and in a lab. Uh, and kind of meshing those two to come up with the best combination of lab experience and on-course experience. A bunch of players will come to me with some mixed set of skills. Uh, they're mainly involves like their stroke technique, how well they can control distance, and how well they can read a green. And depending on how that particular person's recipe of those skills fit together, everything is kind of monitored and kind of directed toward making the, the three of those things fit well together for that person. More often than not, most people will come to me first for the green reading side of things, because that's kind of how I got my start in, on the putting side. Uh, and then through that, we start working on distance control and stroke if we need it. I would say a good number of players don't really understand what a good fitting is. So one of the things I'm hoping to do while I'm here is to start interjecting more of that into my clientele. Most people just think all putters are these just flat things that are kind of crooked at the bottom. Well, there, there's a lot more to it than that. Just like any other club in the bag, if the ball's not launching well, it doesn't go the distance they expect it to go. And if they get one that's got the wrong loft on it, it can really affect how far the ball goes and how well they can control it. After that, being able to aim it pretty well would probably be the next big piece, and if they're, if they're taking care of those two, uh, they're going to be okay for the average person. Part of me being involved with Ping is kind of working together, trying to figure out, okay, what is the best way to get a good fitting done, whether it's in a studio or at a golf course, and try to figure out how do we match these skills along with the putter itself to generate some improvement.